Today we want to talk about C6 Furina and if it's the best one out there. There is an older video of mine talking about C6 Furina and then I had to revise it because I didn't really fully understood her mechanic with the C6. But now that, you know, Furina has been out for a year, crazy how it's already been a year and now we're on to the next Archon. C6 Furina is one of the best ones out there and in this video I'm going to talk about why and also showcase these two builds that I have. One with the her uh, tailor-made artifacts which is the golden troops and also the other one which is which is the Mare Chaussee Hunter. Let's get into it. So here we have Furina and let's first of all look at her C6. Now with C6, of course, you have to unlock the other constellations like the first and second. And the second one is by far the best for your bank. Like it's the second one. The first one, of course, it increases the limit of fanfare. And if you don't know the fanfare, it's um, the more fanfare you have, the higher the damage output you would do with your team, including Fiorina herself. And also the fact that it increases the limit to 100. I believe that's total of 400 because her fanfare limit before C1 is 300. And also she gains 150 fanfare the minute you activate her burst because of the C1. So it kind of uh, eases you up to stack up her fanfare. Second one, of course, like I feel like all the Archons so far, their constellation 2 is always the one to get. In a way, even though Genshin is a very easy game to play, you don't really have to you know, go for constellations. But now with the Imaginarium Theater, like... So now let's go back to Fiorina. This character, you have to concentrate on her HP. Her HP needs to be very high. Um, the cap is 40,000 after that, then you're kind of... It's better to just go for ER or crit or crit damage. Of course, these constellation 4 is the weakest one, but it still helps. Um, because it helps you with the energy requirement. Well, if you're if you're having issues with the energy recharge, Constellation 4 really helps you out. So that way you can do more burst and help your team and also Fiorina to do more damage. And the Fiorina's fanfare, what makes it so interesting and also very unique from other buffers is that Fiorina can buff any character. That's what makes her so amazing you want her burst to be up most of the time. So with C4, it really helps you out. So, and then at the end, which is a long paragraph that we have here, I am going to summarize it. So what it really does, it, it, it for 10 seconds, the minute you activate her skill, um, for 10 seconds, you can do six hydro damage with her normal attack. So she has this hydro infusion and you can only do six of them. And with those six, now depending on her stance, because Furina has two stands, Uzia and Numa. Uzia is the one that she has three uh, water animals that's out there attacking enemies and also decreasing your party member's health. And the Numa is the one that just, you know, heals your character, like active character, not the whole character, um, whole team. Uh, which is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Numa is kind of a waste unless you have C6 because with C6, you can do more damage because it increases her uh, percentage. Um, so let's look at this now. Okay, Uzia stand, her Hydra Infusion does, you know, 18% of her max HP. But when you go to her Numa stand, it increases, further increased by amount including to 25%. So that means 18 plus 25, that's 43. So 43% of her max HP. Mind you, this character needs to be built on HP. So if you have over 40,000, you're going to be doing tons of damage with her Numa stand for those six infusion normal attacks. That's like the full scope of her damage, damage output. But what makes her C6 so nice is because Furina, with Furina, if you don't have her C6, you need, you need a healer. You cannot rely on Furina's Numa stand because the Numa stand only heals the active character, not your whole party. But her Uzia stand, it does a lot of damage, but it also relies on your whole party's health. A healer is a must in Furina's team. 
And that's the only limitation that I see with Furina if you don't have her C6. Unless you activate her Numa stand, but then, well, that really hurts your damage output. But with the C6, alright, so here's here's the Uzi stand. So every one second, so when you're in the Uzi stand, which is the attack stand, um, all nearby characters in the party will be healed by 4% of Furina's max HP for a duration of 2.9 seconds, which is short. Triggering this effect again will extend its duration. So every time, so you can do six infusion, well, hydro infusion attack with her normal, normal attack, and every attack will extend its duration. So the default duration for the healing, if you're in the Uzia stand, is 2.9 seconds, but every time you do a damage with her normal attack, it increases the duration. That's what I missed the last time, which I had to revise it. When you understand that scope, like the whole thing, you don't really need a healer. When you do your um, six attacks, that heals your whole party. And it's not just the active character that's on the field that heals, the whole party heals. So it eliminates that requirement of a healer in your team when you have Furina C6, which means you can add another character in your team to make Furina or your you know, go-to DPS stronger. Furina does it all. Her versatility is so broad to the point that this character is like jack of all trades and master of all because she heals and she her skill does a crazy amount of damage. And as long as you keep up with the heal, and if you have her C6, there's no reason not to keep up with her heal, but her elemental burst has no restriction in like one area where Bennett's circle, you have to be in her uh, in Bennett's circle in order for you to fully uh, take advantage of the buff, but Fiorina tops it off because there is no limitation when it comes to, like there's no restriction or you have to be stationary in one area. Overall, this character has it all with her constellations. Um, so I don't know how Mavika is going to be able to match that. All right, so let's see. All right, so max HP is 34, which is not bad, but also, like I said, 40 is what you want to go for, 40,000. But her crit rate and crit damage, I know crit rate looks very low, but you'll see why because of our artifacts, because I do have that Mary Shose Hunter. Let's see. Weapon, I have her R3. I was lucky enough to get her R3. And um, here we go. All right, so this is the Sands. Um, this is by far my best Sands for Fiorina. As you can see, crit damage is 30%. Crit rate, I don't have to rely on it that much because of this um, artifact. Um, and here, Goblet is Hydro damage with pretty good you know, crit stats. And also, I have the Energy Recharge. And the crit damage also has energy recharge. Um, I'm still working on my artifacts for Furina. I don't, I've, you know, even though I'm okay with the artifacts that I have so far, I'm still not satisfied. I want this character to be busted, like for, for real. So, all right. So HP, the the flower, um, the crit rates are okay, and attack. I wanted the energy recharge, and also there's a HP as well. And of course, crit damage is 28. All right, so, and the Marish is 100. The reason why it's good for her when you have her C6 is because the two piece set normal attack and charge attack damage is increased by 15%. So it really helps you with the, the six attacks that you would do with her Hydro Influsion. And also the four piece set, that's when, that's the reason why the crit rate is so low because it increases the um, crit rate by 12% for five seconds and max is three stacks. So that's very, very high, that's 36% for five seconds. All right, so constellations, yes, we have seen this. Uh, I triple crowned her. So I, I don't know, like normal attack damage doesn't really, the normal, I the reason why I crowned is because she's my favorite character, but um, it doesn't really, I haven't seen any difference with the crowning of the normal attack. Um, so if you don't have the resources, um, I'll refrain from using um, on her normal attack. Um, overall, let's see. Okay, now we're back. All right, so let's change the stance. Oh. All right, so I do want her. Okay. 
right, so this will... Oh no! That's fine. So as you can see, her health is just going up and up. See, it doesn't really stop. So it's because of that, uh, it's because of the Constellation 6 where it says that every one second all nearby characters in the party will be healed by 4% of Furina's max HP. That's the reason why Furina's max HP needs to be really high. Um, and for a duration of 2.9 seconds, which is pretty short, but you know, Triggering that effect again will extend its duration. Alright. As you can see, Furina's health is pretty low. Alright. Um, I kind of like, you know, even though I have these Anima with the VV set to shred their... Oh no, I killed... <laughs> I was not okay. Whatever. All right. So that was the Mary Shosei Hunter set, the build. Um, now her go-to build is the uh, Golden Troops. Um, so this is my go-to flower because of the energy recharge. Uh, which one is it? Oh, this one right here. And I keep the sands as it is. I do change the goblet to HP when it comes to Furina. Um, her golden troops um, built. All right now, let's check her. Seventy-nine is not too bad with the crit rate, and the crit damage is okay. Energy recharge is the one that matters the most for me, and. Okay, now we have to look for the other guy here. Okay, don't die. Okay. Alright, so with the golden troops, you want to make sure that you change the party to fully utilize these four set. As you can see, the health is... Yeah, this character is by far the best character I've ever seen in Genshin. Furina. Right. So with another Hydro character, you can also help with the energy recharge. Um, C6 Furina is one of the best and it's just my opinion um would you say it's a little bit biased of me to say this maybe uh, because she's my favorite but uh i s understand the potential behind the c6 all right so thank you again for watching and if you watched to this very end i really appreciate your you know support and please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye